hello everyone welcome to my channel please like comment and hit the subscribe button you can see how beautiful this fried rice is looking if you want yours to look like this just follow the procedure and i bet you you'll surely get it right okay let's get started so in here is our chicken and liver so i'm going to cut this liver into a bit later to be used when it's boiled so we want to prep our chicken now and we'll be needing some ingredients so here are the ingredients we have our curry we have our mivina we have our rosemary bay leaf we have our salt we have our maggi and leaf bening now we pour everything in then squeeze in the maggi so as you can see i'm squeezing in the maggi now So after that you use your hands to mix in the spice into the chicken and the reason I'm doing that is to enable the spice enter the chicken well because actually I'm going to marinate it like marinating I mean is putting it in the fridge for like um, like four hours depends you know you can leave it for like four hours so that the seasoning will enter the chicken very well so by the time you boil the chicken it comes out really tasty and nice so that's what i mean by marinating the chicken so that's what i did so now i've marinated the chicken i'm adding my onions and my garlic that's onions and garlic in there then i'm pouring in little water not so much because chicken already has water on its own when you boil it so after that I had to turn it together with my wooden stick actually don't mind me most times I love using wooden stick in most of my so that you cover and allow to boil now you can see my water is boiling at the corner I'm actually going to use this water to uh, parboil my rice now you can, that's my rice i'm pouring it in after pouring it in i off my gas i'm offering my gas because the water is already boiled i just want the water to parboil the rice a little so as you can see i've off the gas then i cover and allow to parboil now over to the frying section i'm actually going to fry my chicken dry as you can see golden brown then later on i'll separate the liver and dry the liver i'll cut it in bits into pieces which i'll use later later on so now that's my meat stock i'm putting maggi benny and divina uh, curry into it with salt so I'm pouring it into the meat water, the meat stock rather. And I'm squeezing in my maggi now, and actually I want to use it to boil my rice. So I'm pouring in water, quantity of water that will cook the rice. Then I cover and allow to boil. Now the water I've boiled, I'm adding in my parboiled rice. I've actually sieved the water previously, so now I'm adding it into the rice. Stir properly, add a little more curry so that it will have that nice fried rice color. So that's why I added extra curry to it. Then you stir it together. Test if the maggi has sorted everything is in order. Yeah, it's perfect here. Then we cover to boil. Now you make you pour in oil into your pot, ensure it's hot. Add in your chopped onions. Stay it properly.
them pour in your liver that's my liver that i've chopped like diced into bits then i stay in very well and make sure your onions fry when to give the give the food a nice aroma fry the onions for a little while thereafter you add in your chopped onion uh, chopped carrots green peas and a um, little of cabbage if you love using cabbage for fried rice but most people don't use it if it most times it makes the food go bad so that's why most people don't use it so after that you stay in very well Staying. don't allow it overcook if it overcook is not good then you add in your uh, sweet corn once it overcook it's not always so nice it's, you should have a little of crunchiness so you now adding maggi to give it that extra taste since i've added other condiments to the frame so after that i stay it in stir the maggi in add a little salt to give it taste then i stir it again So you have to taste and ensure the taste is moderate. It was okay. So now I added pepper. I actually don't have fresh pepper. I love using fresh pepper, but since I was not available, I made use of my dry pepper so that it will have a little spice of hotness. Chili here. Yeah. So that's my rice. I've poured in the fried groceries. As you can see, I've poured in the fried groceries in. Then I stir it very well. The rice has dried actually. So I pour it in and I stir my rice. Leave it for some minutes to turn in fire. Just a few minutes and it's ready. So, and one beautiful thing about it, don't allow it to overcook when you are boiling the rice. Just let it be moderately cooked so that it stands one more. 